The NFL season is going strong, and DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking new customers up with an offer that's even stronger. Bet five bucks on any game this week to score $200 instantly in bonus bets. And DraftKings isn't stopping there. All customers can take advantage of a sweetener offer every game day this October. Get in on game day greatness. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets when you bet five on the NFL. That's code Shannon only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us again for another edition of Nightcap. I'm your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite, number 85, one of the best route runners in the NFL history. No, no, no the best. Oh, one he, of the he, best. He no, 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 no. You first of all, can I finish? Okay, go ahead. Uh, Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Let me tell you, you're not better than Jimmy Smith. You're not better than Keenan McCardell. You're not mm -hmm. better than uh 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 Aaron Cox. You're not better okay. than Willie Flipper Anderson. So stop. Yes, you're not better than Sterling Sharp. Stop. Okay. Okay. You finished. Let me know you're done. <laughs> yeah, I've I, I, I been done. You I was finished? done when you started. Let me tell you something. Everybody, you just named. With all due respect, Jimmy Smooth, one of the best to ever do it and don't get the credit he deserves. But ain't Nan, Nathaniel person out there running routes like this and stopping on a dime. There's yeah. only one person. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me stay. Stay with me now. There's Go only ahead. one person that would come out the huddle that would beg for bump and run. Tell the person my route at the line of scrimmage before the snap of the ball and still get open. And if you need if you need footage, I'll have NFL film provide you with that footage. Oh, only and, one person was and Devontae that. Adams better route runner than you. Ooh, uh, yeah, see, uh, see like, what I, I did like, right I, now. I, I, I listen. I like. I like you going, but he is saucy. <laughs> yeah. Let's let, let, let's stay on topic though. Let's so stay on topic. so like yeah, like I said, one one of the best route runners in NFL the, history. The best, and Devontae what? will tell you what. Now, no, but the, no, the guys I hey, y'all pull the tape out there of the guys that I just named. Yeah, and, go and look you at pull that. Yeah, you and you pull that. You pull that on. Pull that on me too. <laughs> Why you doing that? <laughs> Chicago Bears dominate the Commanders. Justin Fields was better, a lot better tonight. Um, he was 15 to 29, only 52 percent completion, 282 yards, four touchdowns. DJ Moore had a monster game, 10 targets, eight catches, 230 yards. The Bears run the air out of the ball, also 178 yards rushing, and the 14 game losing streak that the Bears mm -hmm. had coming into the game is no more. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about this. In his first 30 career games, Justin Field had zero four touchdown pass games. Mm -hmm. Now he's had two in the last five mm -hmm. days. What do you think was the biggest difference in the Justin Fields that we saw, let's just say, the first half of last mm -hmm. week, uh, last Sunday, right. and for mm -hmm. the entirety of the ball game uh, tonight? I think tonight's game and the difference between tonight's game and last week's game is the defense. Okay. It's the defense. The defense set the tone from the start of today's game in the first half. You got to remember now, the commanders didn't get going into the second half and, and finding low efficiency and being able to run and, and being able to run and throw the ball into the second half of the game. At the end of the first half, the commanders ain't had nothing but 45, 49 yards. Wow. Total offense. Mm. Total offense. So it all started with the defense. They coming into the game, they only had two sacks in two games. They just yeah. had five in five one tonight. night. Mm -hmm. They have five tonight. So I'm really happy, not just for Justin Justin Fields, but for also for Coach Eberflus, who obviously had, again, 14, 14 losses in a row. The comeback behind uh, loss to the Broncos last, was it, it was the Broncos. Yeah, right? they, on they, Sunday, they, yeah. They, they, they lost Heartbreaking. Last, last. Up, yeah. They were up at one listen, point, 28-7. Listen, the, the Bears defense was allowing almost 29 points a game, man. Mm -hmm. 29 points a game. There are not many team. There are not many games you're going to win when your defense is giving up 29 points a game, unless you got an all star team on offense or a bunch of track runners or something. But again, on on Justin Fields' end, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I um, let me let me let me let me pause a little bit and 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 say this. I'm very happy that Justin Fields had the game he did because I was sick and tired of hearing the people that obviously if they went 0 and 5, they were obviously going tank and do what they need to do to make it necessary to get Caleb Williams. Caleb I was, I was Williams. sick and hear the kid, the Caleb Williams talk. What's the young fella from, from, from North Carolina? That's that's Drake May. Yeah. Drake, Drake May. And that's all I, that's all I kept hearing tonight was a small sample size bears fans, that organization, myself, that was a small sample size of what the bears often can do offensively and defensively. And what you get 
when you can facilitate the ball, you can run the ball. Khalil, Khalil Herbert, yep. nine yards of carry mm -hmm. in the first half. Yeah. Obviously going out because of the ankle injury, but what they were able to show tonight was a small sample size. If they can find some type of consistency week right. in and week out, regardless of who you plan, regardless of who you plan, find some type of consistency and have that well-balanced offense and get DJ Moore the ball, get Dar Darnell Mooney the ball, and just do it. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. But they only had three guys to catch passes tonight. They only had yeah. three Cole, guys hey, that were targeted. <laughs> I, I ain't even mentioned it. I ain't even mentioned the tight end. Cole Komet. Komet. Oh, my goodness. Man, 6'6". 6'6". Six, six. Mm -hmm. six, six. It's his third TD in a, he, two weeks. Yep. Man, unbelievable mismatch, man. They got to take advantage of that, man. Use yeah. the players you have at your disposal to your advantage. And this is what you get. Well, I've always felt this way. I've always felt it's easier to call plays from behind than it is ahead. Because mm. a lot of times you get ahead and you're like, okay, should I keep my foot on the gas? And then if you yeah. lose the game, it's like, why don't you run the ball? But then if you take the ball out of his hands, they say, well, mm -hmm. why'd you take the ball out of his hand? He had it going. Right. So it's very, right. very hard. We saw what happened in the Super Bowl. We saw yeah. a 28-3 lead, a team mm -hmm. try to keep their foot on the gas, allow mm -hmm. the other team to come back and win the Super Bowl when they should have run the football. It's right. easy to second guess. When you're behind, you can just throw caution to the wind. Everybody's mm -hmm. already expecting you to lose. So what do right. we what do we have to lose? We're already down by 17. We're down by 21 or 28 points. And so for the, the Bears to to remain, because I, for a second they got kind of dicey there, uh, Ocho. Oh, it, it got 20, it it was 30, 30 to 20. They almost got a two-point mm -hmm. conversion to make it a one-score game. But give the Bears credit. You're, you're right. Uh, 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 Matt Eberflus did a great job. Give his coordinator, because this mm -hmm. is what I'm tired of. If a quarterback plays well, the offensive mm -hmm. coordinator gets no credit. Right. If the quarterback plays bad, he gets all the blame. Mm -hmm. I, it, it goes. And so we're talking about we're talking about Justin Fields and credit. He played well. The completion percentage is not where he wanted to be, but he mm -hmm. had some big time throws. DJ Moore finished him off with mm -hmm. some big time run. But I, I thought the OC did a great job of calling the game and putting mm -hmm. him in a situation, letting him get comfortable. Because just right. like anything else, once a quarterback gets comfortable. It's now bad. the field just opens up for it. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's very important. And I say this all the time when it comes to offensive players, especially the quarterback position, you have to understand as an offensive coordinator calling plays, understand your player's strengths and your player's weaknesses and mm -hmm. always predicate the offensive play calling towards the strengths of your quarterback and those he has those he has surrounding him and everything will be okay. Of course, it's easy for me to say sitting behind you know, a mic and a couch and a camera. But when I think about it, <laughs> wait, wait, listen, when I, when I think about it in simple form, there's no need to complicate things. I think sometimes coordinators get in their way, overthinking and complicating things instead of just doing what their players do best. Right. I think sometimes, you know, go give the quarterback an easy throw. Let him mm -hmm. get it out. Let him get, you know, let him mm -hmm. get a start route. Let him get something. Let him like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I'm ready tonight. A lot of times, mm -hmm. you know, you start your first pass, you're trying to go 15, 20 yards down the field. <laughs> give him right. something easy. Now, right. the wide receiver, he just wants the ball. Just, just give him it. the ball. He just wants to feel it. So he's like, yeah. yeah, I'm in the game. Now, it's just like mm -hmm. a defensive player. Once they get that that one hit in, they're like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, now we're ready yeah. to play, you, play you, some you football. Settle, you settle in. You, set, you settle in. But I, but the uh, 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 Chicago really needed this game. They really mm -hmm. needed this game because that is a, that is a, uh, uh, a football town. I understand mm -hmm. the, the the Bulls and, and the Cubbies, but, man, the Bears are synonymous because mm -hmm. of the harshness of the winners. Yeah. And so the monsters of the midway. Mm -hmm. So you expect the, so, uh, a defense now. They don't play defense like they once did. Yeah. And rest is so they lost one of the great defenders of all time, not just in Dick Chicago, Buckus. but in the NFL, Dick Buckus. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell your story. My very first Super Bowl that I uh, – when it was out here in Pasadena, Buffalo mm -hmm. played the Cowboys. The game was in Pasadena, but they have uh, the NFL put all the 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 players that coming in obviously for the festivities. We were in L.A., right. so I, I wake up, I get up one morning, I'm going to breakfast, uh, and I'm late uh, to going to breakfast. Sitting at a table is Dick Buckus, Ray Nisky, and Deacon mm -hmm. Jones. Ooh, so Deacon Jones. <laughs> they're at a the table. So I get my breakfast buffet style. I get my breakfast. I go sit down at a table by myself. And uh, I'll never forget Ray, Ray Nisky say, uh, 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 little Sterling, uh, uh, come, on, <laughs> <laughs> uh come, come on over here. Come on, over. you can sit with us. 
we don't bite. So I get my stuff. I go sit with them. And, uh, uh, you know, they started talking deep, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Deacon Jones, blah, blah, blah. You know, mm-hmm. telling me all, tell him the story. Uh, uh, Dick Buckus introduced himself, Ray Nisky, because he's a Packer. My brother played for the Packers. He just starts. He's like, he's like, you good, but you're not your brother. I'm like, bro, you just <laughs> met me. How you going to say that? You just met me. You don't know what, you don't know how I might be in my feelings. I might feel it sometime. Right, away. right, right, right. But, uh, they, he was, he was, I mean, he was, he was great. Introduced himself. Tall, you know, love the way you conduct yourself. You and your brother, your your mom should be proud of the way, you know, the, uh, your grandma should be proud the way she raised you guys. And so, uh, mm-hmm. man, we, 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 the, the NFL and this family, we, we lost a legend today. Oh yeah. Big time, big time. I, I don't, I don't really have, you know, I wasn't very fortunate. I wasn't fortunate enough as you were to, to be in <laughs> a legend's, a legend's presence like Dick Buckus, but obviously you know, knowing what he meant to the NFL and to yeah. the organization of the Bears throughout the years, and being one of the most feared men to play the middle back, middle linebacker position, uh, he Goggle, is someone that I, she, yeah. The Bears are known for that. Uh, Bill yeah. George is the first guy mm-hmm. thought of to play the middle linebacker position, and right. so now you get Buckers, and then you get mm-hmm. Mike Singletary. Now and then after that, you get Erlacher. So right. the lineage, all those guys are Hall of Famers, mm-hmm. and so now. You like when you think of Bears, you think of middle the middle linebacker mm-hmm. position. position you think right. of the, that's it's kind of yeah. like what I'm trying to think of. What what would it be like? I guess of uh, what? Who I'm trying to think of 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 the captain of the Yankees, mm-hmm. right? Uh, right. Uh, how prestigious that is to yeah, be a title. middle line. Yes, right. to be one of those to what be one of those guys to be thought of. Like a Buckers, like a Singletary, right. like a Bill George, mm-hmm. like a Brian right. Erlacher, one of those guys. Uh, but it was a great honor. And going to the Hall of Fame, and when the Hall of Fame luncheon, and you sit around and you see Dick Buckus and you see Mean Joe Green, and you see all, you see this mm-hmm. guy, you see that guy, you like, and you just look around and you just like, man, I remember, legends. I, I didn't, I didn't, didn't see those guys on television, but right. I heard stories about them, and I watched, right. you know, I watched, you know, uh, uh, watch them play. On, on 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 the internet once it came up once it became available and to mm-hmm. actually be in their presence now i saw mm-hmm. you know i saw mean joe and some of those other guys play but it was an incredible honor to be in the presence of them mm-hmm. and the respect that mm-hmm. that the younger guys that came along like myself right. and uh uh even the lts who's arguably you know a god Ooh. in that room and of itself Ooh. the a way they deal. paid homage to those guys that came before right. them it's just it's just an unbelievable feeling mm-hmm Oh yeah, uh, I don't know if you saw this yesterday, but mm-hmm. uh, we released. I sat down with Beast Mode last week. Yeah, that's that, that's my boy now. That's my boy yeah. now. So I sat yes, down so. with Beast Mode, and um, you know, Beast Mode didn't do a whole lot of talking when he was in the NFL, and yeah. you know, basically his famous line was, "I'm just here so I don't get fined. I don't get fined. I'm yeah. just about that action, boss. Yeah, uh, that's it." And so he opened up, and he said some things. Mm-hmm. Um, that caught a lot of people's attention and it went viral. Um, mm-hmm. you know, one of the things that he said is that I don't, don't bump, I don't bump with Pete. And I mean, when he said, well, he said he don't bump with him. And so right. I'm like clarifying because we're talking about Russ and we're talking about Pete Carroll at the time. Right. So I wanted some clarification because I didn't want any ambiguity. I was like, you don't, you don't bump with who? Bump, he said, I don't bump. F with Pete. Right. He said, I don't F with Pete. And yeah, so you, he you gets not, in, not hip. Yeah. He's he not hip. No, no, I, I'm hip, but I didn't know which one he was talking about. I needed clarity. Was he right. talking about Russ or was he talking about Pete Carroll? Oh, okay, so I okay, just I wanted clarity on who he was talking about, okay, not okay, what okay. he was saying. Oh, I, I understood okay. clearly. Okay. That's why yes, I wanted sir. clarification. But he also said, kind of gave a, a backdrop of kind of when it changed, mm. or when the team kind of went because Pete wasn't holding Russ accountable in practice. Mm. And then right. they had a meeting, a kumbaya meeting, where they mm-hmm. go and they can voice their grievances. And Pete stood up and said, y'all don't say anything to Russ, y'all talk to me. Y'all right. don't say anything to a, a, a Russ, y'all talk to the quarterback coach. Mm-hmm. And they say, wait a minute, we hold everybody accountable here. That's accountable. what we built, right. we, that's what we were built on. And mm-hmm. so he was telling the story also that they played the Titans. Mm-hmm. He had a great game. Russ, was, their defense wasn't that good, especially the secondary. Russ thought he was going to have a big day he didn't beast mode had a big day and so he wanted to call him and say look bro i know you probably didn't have the day that you wanted um mm-hmm. but i got your back and right. there're gonna be games that i think i'm gonna rush for a buck 50 in two tubs and right. you're gonna have to have my back so he wanted to reach out and call him and he said that mm-hmm. he got got someone to uh like pass me russ's number to me 
And the mm -hmm. guy didn't pass it to him. He told Russ to call him. Well, I guess Russ called him from a blocked number. And mm -hmm. so Beast Mode didn't answer the phone. So the guy calls it, calls Beast Mode back. Right. Beast Mode said, nah, Russ ain't called me. He said, somebody called from a blocked number. He said that was Russ. So I guess Russ calls him back and then they have the conversation. But basically he was saying how it, the momentum kind of shifted. Right. From the, the team and the way they looked at Russ, the way they perceived Russ. Because right. remember, you and I talked about this. You can fool the media. You can yeah. fool the fans. You, you can't, can't fool the people inside that, that locker room. room. Nah, you cannot you do it. Right. And Beast Mode, a guy that doesn't have a hate bone in his body, nah. he is real and as authentic yeah. as you're yeah. going to get. So what was your big takeaway? I don't know how much of the interview that you saw. Or yeah, how much I saw. You I saw you, listen, yeah, and listen, everything you do, you know, I pay attention. I, I pay attention. <laughs> I be I be locked in. I be tuned in just so I can I, I can be able to uh, for, for moments like this. Right. One, one of the things that I was told, obviously, when you make it to the NFL, you got different people from different walks of life. Yes. You know, when, when you when you come in in that into that locker room, everybody ain't your friend. And everybody's right. not there to be your friend. Mm -hmm. And obviously it's a, it's a business, but what you do during that business, you make time to meet people, you know, you mm -hmm. get time to hang out if, if yeah. you like to, but everybody does different things. Everybody's mm -hmm. into different things. And sometimes certain people won't float your boat because you're not like-minded and you don't associate it, associate yourself with certain people. Now, Russ, I was never in that locker room. I can only, I can only go off the stories that I've heard before. Some of the yes. things that people have said and obviously, I, oh, I I always defend him and saying, you know, Russell Wilson is a good dude. He is a, a God fearing man that that has purpose and is on a, an, in a, on his own journey. Now, there, there might be some things that rub people the wrong way, the way he carries himself inside the locker room. So yes. putting himself putting himself, I don't want to say above his teammates, but kind of separating himself, especially at the quarterback position. You need to gravitate towards your teammates. Not is the not, one position not, you can. Yeah, Ocho, yes, it's the yeah, one position yes, you can't be standoffish in the locker room. Right, right, right. If it's, I'm it's a, a tight end, room. yeah, but as the quarterback, quarterback you're the extension right. of the head coach. You're right. the extension of the general manager of yes, ownership. Sir. You need to yes, be sir. a liaison. You, mm -hmm. I, I mean, a lot of times, hey, you, you're talking to the offensive lineman one day, you're smoothing mm -hmm. with the D lineman, mm -hmm. you're talking to the receivers. You mm -hmm. really have to ingratiate yourself. Right. And people say, well, right. you can't be – you don't understand the dynamic of a locker room. Locker That's room, not yeah. because HR has no has no bearing on production. Mm -hmm. And so it's different than a normal nine to five mm -hmm. because like you said, you got different races, different religions, different orientation, mm -hmm. a lot of mm -hmm. difference. But the one thing that normally supposed to unite us is the ability to, to want to win. Right. And I told, and I said this, and I've said this before, and people look at me like my, I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. I said if the coach coach treat one player mm -hmm. outwardly different than he treats the others, right. the right. other players will go to resent said player. Right. right. And that's what started to happen because Pete started to be bold with it, and he was treating right. Russ different. different. And Russ started to act different because right. I didn't want to get too much into it, but he brought right. that same attitude to Denver. Right. It, yeah, a and, little and bit. I, and I, see, and the funny ahead. thing is funny that it's funny that you just said that that he brought that same attitude to Denver and the way he the way things were run is because I heard about the separate the separate office space, the separate mm -hmm. locker as yeah. far away from everybody else. Yes, you, you can't he do was that upstairs like the coaches. Yeah, and how what? Ocho, think about Ocho, upstairs. think about this. Now Whoa, I don't up, know if this is what? true or not. He was upstairs, his office was upstairs with the coaches. So I don't know if this is true or not. Now I could get confirmation, but I don't even if I got confirmation, right? I'm not gonna go public with it because it'll make him look worse. I heard Russ had told some players his door right. is always open. Right. Did you hear right. what I just said? His that's what the head coach, that's what the coaches say. My door is always open. If you got a problem, you got something you want to say, my door right. is open. Mm -hmm. I heard he said told players that his door is always open. Yeah, I mean, listen, <laughs> every everybody's different. Everybody's you can't, different. No, but you can't I, be I know that you, different. I know, I, I know you. Are you right? You're right. I'm not sure who he might have consulted with as far as being the quarterback. When you when you're quarterback of a team, you have to be. You do have to be open. You have to be personable. You have to be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, approachable. 
to right. all, to everybody. Relatable. So, relatable. Um, you don't have to change who you are, but your Peyton Mannings, your Tom Brady's, you Carson do. Palmer, you know, these, yeah. these, these are the people I surrounded myself with or, or around. And even if it wasn't football related, they were still approachable and, 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 and felt very welcoming. The stories I hear, it feels like Russ is, it, it, it hasn't been welcoming and he hasn't always had open arms. And he, in a sense, is somewhat abusing the power that he had because of the high position and hierarchy that he was and that comes with being the quarterback. Um, right. I, hopefully, I, I think I think he's changed a little bit, obviously, you know, because the ties have turned a little bit in, you know, against or not in his favor. But a, as he always says, listen, he's a God fearing man. He's always done things the right way, you know, and, and maybe one of the things that he needs has needed to work on or work on in just that in the locker room factor. Other than that, yeah. everything else that that Russell has done in life has been fucking phenomenal. You know the thing is, Ocho people. The people look. Your religion is what you what you do and who you mm -hmm. worship, who you yes, go sir. to bed with, who you wake yes, up sir. as. That don't have anything to do. All mm -hmm. they want to know mm -hmm. is that you don't think I, Peyton Manning is a better player, mm -hmm. but you ain't got to throw it in my face that you get certain perks. Right, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady. Think about this: Peyton mm -hmm. Manning, Tom Brady, Joe Montana, uh, John mm -hmm. Elway, Dan Marino. None mm -hmm. of the historically great quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes doesn't mm -hmm. have a meeting, doesn't have an office upstairs with the coaches. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you think, Ocho, how do you think that's going to fly with the players? Right. I got, right. hold on. I want to talk to Ocho. I got mm -hmm. to call Ocho Publicist to talk to Ocho, to set up a, Ocho, come on. Now. Don't laugh, Ocho. Don't laugh. I got to set up a call with Ocho's Publicist. That's yeah. my teammate now. You my right. teammate. Right. I ain't talking about somebody. I get it. Now outside, sure. You're right. not just finna pick up the phone and call me. Right. And everybody, Listen, I, everybody I, didn't have my number. But if somebody would have reached out, I'm mm -hmm. gonna call them back from right. my number. That's a teammate. I don't treat yeah. them, even though we might not hang out. But right. normally, it's what I was explaining to uh, 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 Ocho how Club Shay Shay started. It started mm -hmm. in a dorm in Northern Colorado in Greeley. Right. Where right. John. Bubby, all the guys, the quarterbacks would come. Everybody would come, hang out, mm -hmm. drink, play video games, play we you know play cards, roll dice. We would just and then everybody would just come in. I'm right. not saying that you got to you know, but I'm saying normally when 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 mm -hmm. guys are putting things together, just show mm -hmm. your face every once right. in a while. I'm not saying right. you got to stay the whole night, but it would be best because guys are looking around to see. Who can I count on, man? Okay, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. you. E. Okay, I see yeah. you. Tom ruined the punter. Right. I see. Sometimes guys would just stop by. Hey, what y'all got going on in here? Just to see what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right, we gone. And yeah. I think the locker room dynamic is very different than any other workspace in the world. Yeah, and unless you've been in that, it's They're hard to it's hard to um, it's it's hard to explain it, and it's right. hard to quantify the importance of a healthy locker room. Right. And, and the, the funny thing about it, not only the importance of, of a healthy locker room, but the importance of your leader, the yes. leader of your team, he, the one who runs the show, the run, the one who, who gets the credit for the wins, the ones when you do lose, he also has to bear the burden of the losses. Bear it, bear the media. It, bear it. He has to be the one front and center and and reachable, accessible, yeah. and, and making everyone else feel apart. So if he is in everything and including everything that we're doing, that makes it, you know what? On Sundays at one o'clock, I'm fighting for him. Why you think those I'm guys run through a wall for Tom Brady? Man, run man, through a wall for Peyton Manning. Run through a wall for John Elway. Man, right. we all we did was gamble with per diem. So anytime right. we had a little poppy <laughs> shop machine, we had a little poppy shop machine. Man, one of the first guys to put in their poppy, putting their uh, putting their per diem down, trying to gamble right. with Elway. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying and I'm trying to get it. We play right. we playing cards, you know. Mm -hmm. We was playing cards at first, but you know how we have sponsors and things on the uh, uh, on the plane. Right. And Mike said, "Look, guys, I don't mind you guys rolling dice or playing cards mm -hmm. for money, but we got guests on it, and that that's not a good look. So right. just wait till you get to the hotel room." But right. guess who was down there on one knee rolling dice? Guess who mm -hmm. was down there playing play? <laughs> <laughs> playing uh, uh playing boo ray with them right Seven. yeah and that yeah. went a, that went a long way because mm -hmm. they were showing us okay he yeah right you but, but you I, know I, the 
Go ahead. The, the, the funny the funny thing about it is, is Russ has a certain way that he conducts himself. He has a certain way that he does things. He has a routine, and I'm sure he's had this routine that he's always stuck to throughout his life, throughout his throughout his tenure when it came to playing the game of football. And I'm not sure if he had a great understanding on how important his presence was to not only the players, but the locker room in 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 that dynamic in general. But I think now he gets a better understanding on that. Um, not on the back end, you know, after hearing the stories and how it's made people feel right. uh, somewhat somewhat left out. You know, I, right. I, I hope he I hope he hears this. I hope he, he sees this at some point and and and, and changes that you know that way in in, yeah. in, a, in a sense. Especially in the locker room. I don't think he needs to change as a person. Just right. his no, no, no not room. as a person. Not not as a person. Because as a, as a person, he's somebody I look up to and wish I would if, wish I was a little bit more like. That's because the only thing I can base it on is my experience with Russ. And right. he's always been great with me. Awesome. But when you are doing a lot, the locker room dynamic mm-hmm. and you're trying to win because you're trying to get mm-hmm. 52 other guys because right. Russ is the leader. The, 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 the position of quarterback in and of itself says I'm a leader. Mm-hmm. And, right. and it's not always, and it shouldn't always be like that, but right. the quarterback more times than not, he's going to have the C on his mm-hmm. jersey, even comes if he's not that good. Comes with the territory. That's it. That's it. So hopefully, I, I hope I agree with you. I, I hope Russ hears kind of what, what, what Beast Mo said. Um, mm-hmm. and you see, I mean, think about it. Russ was there for what a little over uh, what 10, 11 years? Yeah, I think about Bro, 10. the year he leaves, they give somebody number three. Ocho. Yeah. So come yeah. on, Ocho. I'm not saying yeah. it's supposed to be like Peyton Manning, nobody ever, I mean, the 18, but you can't mm-hmm. wait a year. You can't wait two years. Right, right. And then you right. hear guys, the moment, listen, and you hear guys, once he left, guys started to become more open. Even right. Pete Carroll, even Tyler Lockett, he tweeted, it's amazing what you can accomplish when people are not worried about who gets the credit. Mm. You he Pete Carroll start take guys start taking the shots guys that you had never heard say anything. Mm. Now all of a sudden you're starting to hear and like I said, half the stuff that I hear I never mm. take it to air because I never want to make anybody look bad because I just want to base it on your play on the field. Field, that, right? That's all. Right. That's all I want. I I know a lot of stuff about a lot of things in the locker room and a lot of right. things is being said. But you know what? Hey, that's Adam Schefter's job. That's Jay Glitt. Let them be inside of. Let them break that. Right. I'm going to talk I, I about. You. I'm going to talk I about your play. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. You get in this business long enough. You build mm-hmm. up a certain level of credibility and a certain mm-hmm. level of cash shape. Right. And people feel they can talk to you just like they come on my platform. People feel very, mm-hmm. very comfortable that they can right. talk to me. Right. And so. It was it was it was a great conversation. People really mm-hmm. people thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, mm-hmm. You can tell by I, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed, by I enjoyed the, it by by the the the, the other uh, uh, sites that's picked up the clips of it. Travis Kelsey asked the NFL to calm down mm-hmm. with some of the Taylor Swift coverage. So uh, Travis said they're overdoing it a little bit for sure, especially in my situation. I think they're trying to have fun with it. Uh, man, New he York, you know. He liked New, this. Check this out. The New York Post reports the NFL admits they were the ones who pushed NBC and ESPN to run ads for the Eras Tour for free. Mm. Now, when have you ever known the NFL to do anything for free? NFL don't do nothing for free because at ain't, the end of the day, the bottom line is always about a dollar. There ain't nothing free but salvation. And Creflo <laughs> Dollar and Joel Osteen charge for that. So ain't nothing free. And the NFL definitely don't charge, let you run no free ads. They don't Mm-mm. give you no free ticket. Mm-mm. No, sir. There, there's an angle. There's a different angle that we, we don't know about. Do you know what the angle might be? Yeah, getting Taylor Swift to do the halftime show. Talk to me now. It's chess, <laughs> not checkers. It's just oh. chess, not checkers. And, and I know how to play. And they know how to play you, at did the you, end of the day. Did you see the team viewership, team, team girls that watched the, with the games that you appeared at up 53%? Listen. Chess, not checkers. The NFL know what they're doing. They smart. They yes. smart. I'm, I'm surprised. And when we talked about it, and I told you about it being, even if it is somewhat real, when I talked about it being a PR and I ain't talking about Puerto Rico, understand the <laughs> angle, understand the angle in that in the dynamic 
of the connection and the Wi-Fi that Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift even being together. Yes. But it has and what it does for not only Travis Kelsey, but for the NFL as well. So why right. not take advantage of the situation? Because at the end of the day, it all comes down to one thing. Oh, Taylor Swift. OK, I understand if I do this, if I maneuver this way, or if I if I if I move the chess piece this way, if I take the queen over here, I know I can get this. Right. You got to play the game. You got to you got to play the game because at the Taylor, end of the day, Taylor Swift gives the NFL a different set of eyeballs. Everybody, okay. Taylor, Taylor Swift, all the Taylor, half of Taylor Swift fans, probably not NFL fans. NFL's mm -hmm. trying to get more fans, trying to get more mm -hmm. eyeballs. Taylor yeah. Swift can do that. Did it work? It worked. What percentage was the viewership up again? What percentage was it? Teen, teen I think teen girls was up 53%. 53% that would have never tuned in. Man, chess, not checkers. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I, I I know because here's the thing, and this is this is this is how we are. If we love something until we get mm -hmm. too much of it, and then we start mm -hmm. because I see, oh man, Taylor Swift, they need to stop showing on Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Man, stop it. Y'all know just, who that he, is. That's Taylor hey, he, Swift. He playing, he playing, he just playing. He he got <laughs> he got he got to come out and say that. On the inside, I know he's feeling good. I know, of I know he feels good. Jersey sales and shot up. God rock got all, he got let's see, you got all them extra Instagram followers. You got your podcast, New Heights. You know, you you man, listen, you got your commercials. Man, child, please Every, tell about everybody's enough. benefiting from this because every all the NFL fans probably aren't Taylor Swift. They're like, oh, that's Taylor Swift. Yeah. Oh, yeah. because now you got two behemoths mm -hmm. together. You got yeah. the NFL, you got Taylor mm -hmm. Swift fans. You got mm -hmm. Taylor Swift, you got Travis Kelsey, mm -hmm. one yeah. of the biggest stars in the NFL. Probably her and Beyonce, one, two, however you want to rank yeah. them as far as yeah. pop sensation, traveling the world. Mm -hmm. Bro, yeah. And NFL will be about it, not to take advantage and, of this. And the, and the funny thing about it, this is the NFL, obviously, the visibility is only so far. And yeah. then you have to, now you get Taylor Swift on your hip. Do you understand what that does for your brand globally? Yes. People that don't even watch the game of football, that takes Travis Kelsey not only to a different demographic, not only to a different mm -hmm. age group and age bracket, but it puts eyes on not just the Chiefs, but you as well and everything you have going on. Travis Kelsey, I know you're going to see this. I know you're going to see it. You got to play the game. <laughs> you got to play the game the same way you do it on the field, whether it's mo whether it's man or whether it's zone. You got to play the game and navigate through it the right way because you got to think long term, baby. Stay with me. Take think advantage of this term. opportunity, huh? Take what? advantage of this opportunity. Yes, sir. You not you just, she not local. She international. Yeah, hey, she global. Yeah. We ain't we ain't we ain't all fortunate. We ain't all fortunate. <laughs> Evan Neal. The right tackle for the Jet, excuse me, the New York Giants apologized for yeah. uh, booing fans. He mm -hmm. said, the person that's commenting on my performance, what does he mm -hmm. do? Flip hot dogs and burgers somewhere? Why would a lion concern himself with the opinion of sheep? Mm. First of all, bro, I don't know if you watch yourself on film. You ain't no mm -hmm. lion. You block <laughs> it like a sheep. And you keep you keep playing like that. Now you won't be flipping burgers, but you'll be owning franchises of a burger of people that flip burgers. I now don't know what he, I, mm -hmm. I don't know what he was thinking. Right. You, you you see what I mean on how players it affects him, even if it's fan. If think about this, Evan Neal's not playing well. Evan Neal has had an entire offseason preparing himself to get ready for football season and do the best that he can at his job. Evan Neal also has been through a training camp. Evan Neal also has been through a off-season program of 13 weeks to prepare himself for the season. So the funny thing about being frustrated, not only are they losing, but he's not playing well. And then he has to hear from the fans that he's not playing well after putting in all the work that he's put in. And it's very upsetting. At times, there are certain people. There's, there, there are two kinds of people in life. There are two, two, two kinds of people in life. There are people that can take criticism and use it as motivation. And there are people that when they get criticized, they fire back based off emotion. And that is what you saw from him. He's frustrated. Things aren't going well, not only for the team, but for him as well. And what's the first thing that he does is he lashes out. Well, get thinking. your butt off social media. Play better. He didn't play. Hold on, hold on, Ocho. He didn't play well last year. He's not playing this year. So it's the mm -hmm. fans' fault that he's not playing. It's the fans' fault he's not playing well. Play better. Let me ask you a question. How I'm many times you, when you play well, you, you got booed? Huh? 
Well, how many times? How many times you played well and you got and the and the fan booed you? Oh, I never got booed. Whether well, I was you, playing home or away, they loved me everywhere. But and when and 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 even when I didn't play in the social media era, but yeah. if you playing well, fans don't mm-hmm. they, they might jump on your time and say, "Hey guys, y'all need hey, eighty four. Right. You playing well, but y'all need to win mm-hmm. some games." Right. Okay. Right, if you right, playing right, well, right, right. so what does he expect the fans to do? Right, Cheer, right. I mean, not, not criticize you when you playing listen, bad. Listen, that, this, this, that's 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 the nature of the beast. That's the nature of the beast, and I think Evan Neal from from this point on, and this could you know what this can affect people. You know that players, everybody everybody is built differently, especially mentally. Mentally, this could this this could tank you. You know, when you get to the point where you allow fans to affect you and your performance based off what yeah. they're saying. Oh, that 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 could be that could be, bro. Deafening and hardening. I'm I'm just saying. That's a tired argument, though. I mean, it's oh, a tired argument. I'm, it's a tired no, no, argument. No, no, but I'm saying. Still oh, what, you what, in general. what if the guy you, bro? That man that's flipping burgers and hot dogs, right. paying right. his hard old hard earned damn yeah. money to come right. see your sorry but whip blocks right. time after time after time, block your own guy over and over again. Let right. Daniel Graham get sacked time and time mm-hmm. again. That guy Daniel, is playing his Daniel hard. Jones, Daniel Jones. Yes, Daniel Jones, excuse me. That guy <laughs> is flipping those burgers, that's right. selling those hot dogs. He's spending his hard earned damn money to come watch mm-hmm. your sorry butt play. Right. You don't like, you don't feel no thing. You don't feel nothing. You don't like, yeah. man, you know what, bro? You know, I'm right. You're y'all right. Y'all have right. every right to boo because I'm not playing well. No. Right. And you right. lash out to try to like, oh, show him up. Oh, you flipping burgers. Okay. Right. It don't take anything to get that first big contract because mm-hmm. you get drafted. You can fool people. Get right. another big contract. Mm. That's what the dogs do. That's what the lions do. Right. Bro, you're not no lion. You're not. I don't know who told you that. And that seems like a good Everybody want to be a lion now. And they're not cheetahs. They're not leopards. They're not jaguars. Yeah. They just graduate right. to the, 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 the king of the beast. Right. Hey, bro. Right. Trent you, Williams you, you, can say I'm a lion. Oh, Zach Martin can say I'm a lion. Man. Jason Kelsey Jason can say Kelsey he's a lion. Jason Kelsey can say I'm a lion. Bro. Hey, man, why we on why we on the uh why we on the context and the topic of animals that, that are based on what we are when we were on the field? You know what I was? Can I what? tell you what I was? What? I was a ki- I was a killer whale. Oh Lord, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was a killer whale. But but anyway, listen, again, I know fans are upset. I, I know fans are upset. Obviously, they should York. be. They, yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they are. Um, uh, oh, Joe, the dude six this? seven and a half. The dude is six seven and a half, three hundred and thirty pounds, and can't right. block the sun out of his eyes. <laughs> so you damn you being, right, I'm gonna listen, be upset. What? Why you? Why you being mean? Why? Why you being mean? Did I lie? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know because I haven't watched him. I, I normally watch the skill uh, position, the quarterbacks and the running backs. Evan Neal has allowed the six most quarterback hits and the second most pressures. How can I interest you in that? You said number six, the six most. He's at, he's allowed the six most quarterback hits and the second most pressures. So that means there are five people in front of him that are even worse than right. And I'm sure their fans are booing their ass too. Well, I'm talking about him. I, and and once I find out who they are, if their fans boo them and they lash out at them, we'll get their ass on here. But right now but the, we gonna do, see. You know what? You know what the funny thing is, the other what? five their team their team might be winning, but everything magnified now because the Giants aren't winning. Obviously, say, no, say, they're not. They're out. not winning. You know, oh, okay? No. How you know? No, they're not winning because see the, the argument that you're trying to use is like right. if the police pe- pull you over why you right. stop me all these people that speeding he said you right. know what i caught you had i not pulled you over for speeding i, I might been able to catch one of them <laughs> yeah see yeah see <laughs> hey if somebody would have lashed out at their fan base right. playing mm-hmm. as pathetic as he is maybe right. this would have been an opportunity to get them right but since Listen, he beat I'm, everybody to the punch, punch we right. got you right Listen, I, I I understand the fans' frustration. I understand the fans' frustration. For me as a player, it's hard for me to put myself in that situation. I mean, as, as a player, because I never had that actually happen to me. I do kind of somewhat empathize with him because of all the bullshit he's having to deal with from the fans, through the media, and it's frustrating for him because he's what not What about him? Well. Wait, let me, let me finish. You know, he's not playing well, and everybody's piling on top of him, and probably he got to a boiling point to he lashed out at the fans. But again... I'm also on the fan side 
because obviously you paying your hard earned money, and then to hear a comment oh. like that, God damn it, motherfucker, we the one paying our hard a hard earned got hard, hard earned goddamn money in this economy to come watch you play, and you talking, you know. So I I I understand both sides. I'm I'm hoping this does wonders for him, and he comes back and answers with his play on the field and gives the product that the fans want to see. Ocho, you yeah. can't play like what the elephant left on the showground and then expect me to applaud you. You let me tell you the guy, you know who got the number one guy, the guys that's in front of him? That was a good one. Orlando Brown. He played for your Bengals. He's giving up the most quarterback pressure. Yo guy, oh yeah, now look at you. And now you wonder why Joe Burrow is, is like he is. Huh? Yes. Wait, wait. Yes. You... Orlando Brown. That y'all paid big money to get? Him, he playing worse than he playing worse than Evan Neal, and that's saying something. Cause he playing like stir fry, so I don't know what I don't know what your guy is. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh I'm not gonna touch that. Your guy Moo Moo got paying or something. Nah, so nah, we, that what your guess, guy is. Guess, guess what? We gonna be all right. We got the Cardinals this week, and we gonna win. A card hey, you know, you, 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 hey, listen, Joshua you know Dobbs. Joshua Dobbs. Say something. Joshua Dobbs gonna take a test right before he played the Bengals. Ace the test and do a number on you guys. How Child, you like please. that? You know what cures everything? You know what can cure everything and make everybody happy? Make it make the fans happy. And make it, it can make the players happy and make the coaches happy. You know what cures everything? Y'all not. Y'all not gonna do that. Winning. Winning. Oh, I'm, I'm, we 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 on the Giants. We on the Giants right now. Winning. <laughs> We okay. We we not on the Bengals. We not we not talking about Orlando. Brown. I ain't gonna talk about, about the Bengals. I'm talking about the Giants. Okay. I'm with well, that you, winning. You try to get the cure, see, what you did. Everything. See what you do is you trumping and you caping up for somebody else and got the heat I, on your own guy. Not Orlando I, I, Brown say whoa, whoa, he whoa, caught whoa. him straight. He whoa, you, what you did hold is you shoved Orlando cave. Brown. You shoved Orlando Brown in front of Evan Neal because I was throwing the bullets at him. Wait a minute. And, I ain't caped for nobody. I yeah, said you you just both. I said I understand both sides. What you talking about? No, you I talking said about, I understand there, both there, sides. So, so if he's number two, that means somebody's worse than him. So I had and to I give said, you the I, no. I said there are people that are playing worse. So I I I I, I, I kind of understand where you're coming from. But again, one thing cures all: winning. That's it. I tell you that's another you thing that cures that's all. The only way, that's the only way to fix it. Play better. Because you yeah. can you play better. Yeah, that that too. What what about that? that? So so what 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 role does playing better? What does that cure? Oh, it's it's gonna come in. That's why. Protect, that's why you go out. It protects your quarterback you, ribs. Listen, it protects your you quarterback out. getting hit in his head. Hey, listen. That's why you go out there every week. You practice Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You have walked on Saturdays, and you try to go out there and execute everything you worked on throughout are, the week. You, are, and you hope it pans out the way it does. Are we sure he's practicing every day? Yeah, are we he sure is. he's practicing? Or are you just going out the game time because it don't look like that. You practice. Listen, the person on the other side of the ball, them defense ends, yeah, they get paid too. Hold on. They, they, get, they, they get paid too. I ain't trying to hear that. I ain't trying to hear I'm that. Just, I'm, Not I'm every play to Ocho. Look, the DB going to win some. Okay, granted. But they have every play. Look, Ocho, yeah, you're right. think about this. I played tight end at yeah. 228 pounds. I had to block a Reggie White, a Bruce mm -hmm. Smith, a Neil mm -hmm. Smith, a Derek mm -hmm. Thomas. I mean, so you're not finna beat me every damn play. That's not going to happen. Right. Even at 228, I'm right. a big receiver. Mm -hmm. But at some point in time, pride got to kick in. That yeah. I don't. I know who you are. I know what you represent. I know right. you're going to be on the 75th anniversary team. I know you're on the 100th anniversary team. But mm -hmm. you're not going to beat me every play. I got to right. win some. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But see, mentally, you built different. Mentally, you're built different. Obviously, this day and age, with you know, the, the <laughs> I don't want to say kids because they're not kids, but you know, it's they, they wired differently, and I, I I think he's gonna be okay. I think he's gonna be okay. I hope so. I'm not, I didn't say he's I'm a not, bear, I'm, but I root I for him. Listen, I, I'm not saying he's not he's not playing well right now, but I'm hoping the ties turn for the better for him and that team in general, so the fans can have something to cheer about for a I change. I know, I know you saw this. Brock Purdy said he still lives and splits the rent with a roommate in San Francisco and drives a Toyota Sequoia. Ocho, I think Brock Purdy's doing an unbelievable job. But unless I'm in college, I ain't mm -hmm. living with no grown ass man. Two grown ass men should not be sharing no part, splitting no rent. I'm gonna get a five, I get three, I get 350 square feet. 
and Wait, live by you, myself before whoa. I split a thousand square feet with another big old rusty dude. Do you know what the cost of living is in San Francisco? I don't I care if I would I would have head. I ain't staying. I'm coming to this. Hey, Wait, hey no, did he, did he, only, did he say he never said his roommate was a guy, did he? Ah, stay with me. Stop ah, it. stay, stay with Stop me. Stop it. He never he never said his roommate Stop. spitting the rent. Listen, he did. Women, listen, he no, did. He did. No, he did. It's a woman. I guarantee it's a woman. Let me tell you something. It is not. Think, he got a girlfriend. He, he probably got not. a girlfriend. And he split it with is her. Not. You don't think so? No. I don't know. Hey. The, uh, listen, it, it, when I come home, the only dirty draws in the piled up in the corner gonna be mine. Mm, yeah. Ain't no other joker dirty draws and socks and shoes gonna listen, be in the doorway when I get there. You might want to look at the data on the highest places to live as far as expenses are concerned, as far as trying to earn and make a living. I don't San care. San Francisco is expensive. It might be number oh, one on the list of Ocho. places to live. Ocho, I don't care. I live in three hundred. I live in 500 square feet in hell. I ain't sharing my place with no man. That's Sometimes me. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you got to do that when you got the money. Ocho. Sometimes you have to when Ocho. you got the Ocho. money. Ocho, check this out. Ocho, check this out. Real I talk. Wish I, had, I wish I had the numbers on it. Ocho. Oh, what it call, how much is rent in San Francisco? I, show me the numbers. I guarantee you there are people that's making less than $870,000 that have a, that have an apartment by themselves. I made $63,000 my rookie year. $63,000. Mm -hmm. 63 Wait, where were you playing at? I was in Denver. You was in Denver making sixty three thousand a year, like thirty some years ago. Yes, in twenty twenty three, living okay. in the worst times of all. Let's just okay. Let's rent just say is rent is crazy. Mortgage what's is the average crazy. rent in San Francisco? Forty five, yeah, four thousand a month. Four thousand a month average rent in San Francisco. It might be. 4, it might be more than that. I'm gonna, say, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say four thousand. I'm gonna say four thousand. No. no more I'm than forty five hundred. Average rent cost. No, no, not in, not no, no, absolutely not. Not in San Francisco. It's a different ball game. Please, somebody do your homework for me real quick. We doing it and give me the information. Two bedrooms. San the Francisco. average. The average. No, ain't no two bedroom. He by himself. What you just said? He got a roommate. Yes. So if he yeah, they the average, in the same the, bed now. The average rent in San Francisco is three thousand a month. So you okay, know what? that's a lie. That no, that no, no. Just, hold on, Ocho. Let's just say we no. go get a. Let's just say we go get a nice one bedroom for forty five hundred. You know what, Ocho? I'm gonna say yeah. you know what? I'm gonna get a wash and dry in my apartment. So I'm gonna right. bump it up to five thousand. You mean okay. to tell me a man that's making eight hundred and seventy thousand can't afford a five thousand dollar month apartment by himself? Well, I, I obviously not. Obviously not man, because that's it. why he's doing it. That is a real and matter of that's fact, that's a good that's, that's a good story. Oh, and, do you see Brock Purdy? Oh, he's staying, he rents an apartment, he's all about the game. Listen, Let's stop it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing wrong. Where, where did I stay my first two years in the NFL? Let's not forget. Oh, you forgot. Because that's, I wanted to save money because buying a place or renting a place was pointless and unnecessary when all the amenities I needed was in the stadium. Average rent for a one bedroom in San Francisco is three thousand. It's the third most expensive city in the U.S. behind Jersey City and New York City. So I just say the average price is three thousand for a one bedroom. I bumped it up another two thousand just because I want him to stay in the nicest place in San Francisco. Whatever you just read is not up to date information on how much it costs to stay in San Francisco and there's no way in hell that See, New York is in front of San Francisco and what was it what was the first who was who was first Jersey City this, Jersey uh, City oh who you know what hold on in Jersey City what are we talking let about let me say okay this was published April 30 of 2023 so maybe the price have gone up another ten thousand dollars since then so you want to try another angle no but I just understand I understand where he's coming from because it's something I did as well he is not into spending money, and in order to save money, even though you're making eight hundred seventy thousand, how can I do it? Easy, split the rent with somebody else, boom, and go well, about my. If he try, uh, let me ask you a question. If he's trying to save money, why the hell he get a, a Toyota Sequoia that gets thirteen miles in the city and seven in the highway when gas is seven dollars a gallon out here? Explain that. Driving one. his old Toyota Sequoia from college is not okay. a new Toyota. 
What, it's what, the fact what, what, that the matter is that it's thirteen dollars. You getting? Hold on. Do you understand how much gas prices are here in L.A.? The gas price in L.A. is seven dollars a gallon. Oh, so, so now, now you have a you now you have an understanding of the gas prices. But no. when it comes to the guy, when it comes to so, rent, oh, I'm gonna save on rent, but I'm gonna splurge on gas. What's more, what's more important, a place to lay your head, or again from point A to point B? Well, how you, you got to well, go to work? I, I, you know what, you can sleep in that truck and go right <laughs> on to work. If you want to save money, do that. Sleep in the truck and go to work. Listen, I commend Brock Purdy. I commend Brock Purdy. All of us don't want to just waste money, you know, Ocho, and just, just, just. Ocho, I ain't say go get no palatial estate. I ain't say go get a Steph and Aisha Curry place, a $30 right. million dollar pad. Right, I ain't right. say get a penthouse that's costing well, you 15, listen, 20,000. He, He'll be able to. You know what's going to happen? When he gets that money, when he hits that $200, 250000000 million contract, he's still going to be stuck in the same ways, and that money will probably last his grandkids and his grandkids' grandkids and his grandkids' grandkids after that. So I Ocho. think it's a good thing. It's commendable to me. Ocho, Very commendable. I'm, listen, I'm not saying he got to pay for a lot of uh, young women uh, college tuition. You know I. You know what I'm saying? You know what yes, I'm sir. saying? I, I ain't saying, saying he got to do that. Right, but I'm right. saying... Bro, you can get you a three thousand, make it eight seventy. You can get you a three three thousand, four thousand. I went five thousand. You want right. and get and it's for a year, right? But you have to understand that's that's your way of thinking, huh? That's your way of thinking. Huh? This Brock don't Purdy, be cheap Brock to Purdy, yourself. We don't we don't. Nah, he, don't be cheap he, to think, yourself. He, he doing be right. Be cheap Brock, you I, want to. But don't be cheap to yourself, Brock. I know you're gonna see this boy. I love you, baby. I love you and everything you're doing, man. Hey, me and you, we got to write a book together on financial literacy. I think we can get this done. Holler at me when you see me. My number's still the same. Yeah. Ocho. Yeah, I like that. Way to who go, promised Brock. you? I just want to know who promised you tomorrow. Huh? Who promised you tomorrow? Nobody promised me tomorrow, okay. but I know one thing. When I was born, I had an expiration date. Yeah. But God do said you know the date? Do you know the date? Hold on. Do you know the date? Do you know the date? I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me finish now. Go when ahead. I was born, I there's we all come with an expiration date. Yeah. But God told me he's not through with me yet. So I know I still got some time left because I ain't, I'm not finished because he's not through with me yet. I'm not, I'm not even going to preach. I'm not even going to preach today because it's not Sunday, but you know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Yeah. Stay with me. He now. told you got time left. He told you that yesterday. It might be today. Huh? Listen, he's not done with, he's not done with me. I'll be honest. You through. heard what you heard exactly what I said. He's not anyway, done. He's not through with speaking me. Speaking of being frugal, Derek uh -huh. Henry says he's going to hold off on Jersey swaps. Because of the cost. Now players are required to play pay for the jerseys when doing swaps. And the cost have increased recently. Mm. Titan players have to pay upwards of $350 per jersey. So you can understand how expensive that can get if you do it 17 times. Mm. You see? You, but, see how every, you see how everyone is being financially conscious now? You see? No, the, they, oh, they worried about they worried about paying a three hundred fifty dollar jersey a three hundred fundy dollar oh, jersey. Hold on, you, you see what I'm saying? If I hold on, think about this. I, here. Lo I love my ball players for this, man. Ocho. I love y'all for this. But her, no, I ain't got no problem with the ball players. The problem that right. I have with the NFL. Now you gonna right. give Taylor Swift free air to air time, four hundred five hundred thousand dollars for thirty second spot. And right. you say NBC, CBS, Fox, ESPN. Can y'all do that for free? But you're going to charge the players who you're building the backbone off of. You're going to charge whoa, them whoa, $350. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, let's let's rewind. I understand where you're going with this. I understand where you're going. Obviously, we are the ones, the backbone of the NFL. We yeah. are the meat and potato. We are the meat and potatoes of the NFL. But we have to understand something. At the end of the day, it's about the bottom line. And there's oh, one. So listen, the play, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let, me, let me finish. The the Taylor Swift versus the NFL players, which one moves the needle the most and can do so in a short amount of time that nobody else that's putting on a helmet can? Just, Again. just answer answer the question. Answer the question. Which one can move yes, the needle? Taylor the Swift. Most? Bingo. Optics there matter. There you go. Ocho. Ocho. There you go. Optics you matter. Go. I, re, hold on. Remember the optics I just told you about Russell Wilson? How Pete yeah. Carroll? Optics yeah. to the other players. Yeah. So who's more important? Who's more important? A quarterback or a wide receiver or a DB? Who's more important? Well, the quarterback, obviously. Optics, optics matter. I understand. So now the players you... are looking. Hold on, hold on, no, no, hold on, no. Ocho. We you let somebody. We so hold on, Ocho. Listen, just give me a second. Now okay, I'm talking about the 1500 you. players. Which yes, one sir. of those 1500 players? Okay, I'm gonna pull the top 10 players together. If I pull mm -hmm. the top 10 players together, you think they got more money than Taylor Swift? 
Absolutely not. Okay, so the players are saying, hold on, you gonna head crack me for 350 and mm -hmm. you gonna give somebody that's worth a half a bill, you gonna give her a discount. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, you ain't gonna give her a discount, you'll let her have it for free. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying the optics. I'm just saying the players. Hey, chess, not checkers. Hold on. Tyree bottom Hill. Line, bottom, bottom line at the end of the day. Tyree what Hill just got more, charged 3500 for no socks. Yeah. How many times oh, you yeah. got fired for no socks? How many times you got untucked jersey? Listen, untucked jersey, uh, streamer towel, gold yeah. cleats. Blue. Remember I used to wear the orange and the orange chin strap, the black yeah. chin strap? Mm -hmm. I didn't care. I didn't get take 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 the money. I, I don't care. And I oh, never stop. Hold on. Hold on. Take my money. Ocho, Ocho, Ocho. Either you a cyclops or, or, right. or, 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 or octopus or something, because you're speaking on both sides of your neck. One whoa, minute you're being approved. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, let whoa. me finish. No, no, no. I get okay. you. Hold on. Give me a second. Now okay. they find you every time untucked jersey. They find you when you run the chin, uh, uh, the chin strap. Yeah. They find you for all this, and you saying take the money. Yeah. Why you doing that? Yeah, because I'm you playing. Frugal. No, I'm, I am frugal. Listen to me. Stay with me now. Stay with me. Let me talk to you real quick. When I'm playing the game of football, I'm from Miami. I'm from Liberty City. This beautiful place called Dade County. When we play the game of football, it's about having fun. It's about entertaining. It's about going out and looking good and doing it your way and showing up. So when it comes to that, the NFL is going to do what they think they can do best to keep us under control. So what's the first thing they do? They take what they think we value most. Stay with me now. They were finding me for enjoying the game of football the way I like to and dress the way I felt I should to be able to do my job at my best because I felt good and looked good doing it. That's the only reason. There's a difference. No, and it's not. It to, uh, yeah, listen to me. When it comes to other things like rent and buying houses and buying cars and buying jewelry, all that stuff, all that, dumb, that shit ain't matter. But when it came to football, I want to enjoy the game playing it the same way I did as a little kid. That's all. Ocho. That's all. And you're Ocho. not going to control me. You're not going to control me by taking money. Ocho, that because it doesn't make any sense. It, if it you don't sense. get to, you don't, it, oh, it Ocho, you don't get to say, you know what? I don't want to spend money on an apartment. So I'm going right. to live in the facility, but I'm going to give the NFL 7,000, 10,000 of my dollars every week. Yeah. What? That's $160 over 16 games. You tell me the sense that make. So it the money sense, that you say, hold on. The money okay. that you save by staying in the facility, you gave mm -hmm. to the NFL times. 2x and i got it back times 5x in the offseason so i wasn't no, tripping ocho, ocho you can't get back money you was gonna make that money up by doing the offseason program anyway you lost no, just, no, no 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 i'm not talking about offseason program i made it up in the offseason i work year round i didn't just i didn't play football okay. i work year round so how you yeah, so I, how I, you make that up you gonna make huh? you gonna get those endorsements anyway you lost 160 you can't get up you can't get back what's lost no, no, you, you're not understanding all the stuff I had going on outside of the game, outside of football. And you general. still so would have had that back. going on with an extra 160 in your pocket. So make it make sense. It, 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 listen, can, listen to stay with me, baby. You're not, you, you're not listening you. to me. It made, it, it made sense to me because I played the game a certain way, right? When I was a little shorty, when I was legit. So when I got to the NFL and you're paying me millions of dollars, when you get to the NFL, it's all about control, trying to conduct and control the players to their satisfaction, but I wanted to play it my way and dress the way I did when I was at Miami Beach Senior High and when I played for Liberty City Optimists, and that is what I chose to continue no. to do. The NFL don't want y'all coming out there looking like an all tournament team because the first, the next thing somebody was going to do what? was an all a tournament what? team. <laughs> one of you got on Adidas, one of you got on Puma, one of you got on Reeboks, one of you got you got a got a beach tower hanging down your back. <laughs> And so the NFL said, no, nah, we want some uniformity. We want right, a, a right. uniform code. And and guess yeah. what you could have done? You yes, could have bought 500 smoke to take the batteries. Yeah, I did. I did. Mm -hmm. hey, you smoked this. hey, did you, you notice you don't hear no chirping no more, though? How about time? I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, I still, I'm glad. I, still, I still listen, but I, I stole I stole the battery out the smoke detector in my hotel and brought it home. You know they watch this. No, nah, they ain't see that. No, they, they watching that. this. You told them. You should have told them. I know, but it was all the way in Philly. They ain't, they ain't gonna know. You going back? You stay at that same hotel when you go back to Philly. I know, but they ain't, they ain't gonna know because it, it it's it's gonna be chirping. You just so they told just, them. It, I know, but they just gonna change the battery. They ain't gonna know. I just incriminated myself, huh? You sure did. Damn. <laughs> I mean, you sure that, did. That's they why, didn't that's know, why, that's, but that's, they that's do why now. Never, that's why I never do nothing wrong. My bad. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good thing. You don't do anything wrong. You should not <laughs> So. I, you, you, I mean, since you told us you took the hotel battery, you want to tell us the hotel? Huh? 
Or you want to tell us the hotel? Hell, you already tell us you took the battery. So whatever oh. hotel he's staying in on Monday night, he got yeah, the battery. At, at, yeah, the Western. It's cool. I know that they, they didn't replace it by now. They probably yeah. charge. They probably charge. They probably charge the card though, like incidentals. You think that go with incidentals? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are gonna put that in there at Western. Chad Ocho Cinco <laughs> Johnson stole stole y'all battery. Listen, y'all smoked hey, the law. Hey, you, you know what else I took? I I I don't mean to be telling you my business and my personal my personal stuff, but I, I we think? family we we family. But you know when I go to hotels, right? You know when I pack, I always travel real light, so I have yeah. extra room in my suitcase. I always steal two towels, two two washcloths. That's a shame. <laughs> I mean, that's what you did in college. I mean, I man, hey. college, no, 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 no. Listen, I got a marry I, 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 I got a marry y'all bread spread right now on my bed at home. In, in hey, Glenville. see, that's that's see that we here. You can do all kind of things on that bed. You can smoke. You can smoke. You can try yes, to start sir. a forest fire on that thing. That thing ain't gonna burn nothing. I don't know what they made that thing out of. <laughs> that thing is is fire retardant. Hey. Man, look here. I go into oh, a board burning building. I don't need no fire food. Yeah. I just wrap myself up one of them Marriott blanket <laughs> of a spread spread comforters and come right up out of there. It's like, hey, hey, that's what I would do. Hey, listen, man. Ain't nothing worse than this. And I know people going to laugh at me. They're going to talk about, man, what you doing? You know how many people done wipe their cell phone? Like, man, listen. When you buy new towels and you try to dry off and all the lint from the towel still yeah. stuck on you, man. That, but that, that's that why you wash them first. I can see. I can tell you don't know nothing about you, it. Listen, you, you know how many times. Listen, whoa, 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 whoa. You know how many times you have to wash a brand new washcloth and towel before it's, yeah. before it's, before it's all rigged and rough and perfect? Well, how, many, well, how many washcloths and towels do you got? You should be able to wash. I mean, you should have at least at the bare minimum three sets. Well, at actually, bare actually, minimum. Listen, I have way more than three sets because you have to think how much I travel. So every every time I travel to a different hotel, I always steal two sets. Man, so I mean, not, they white. I mean, I bet them towels look like you've been changing oil. Listen, you know, why is that is the most humbling experience? You know that? Hey, we family. I could talk to y'all, right? One of the things that has always been the most humbling to me is to get out the shower, been in there 20 minutes, bathing, making sure you hit all the important spots, mm -hmm. and you get off and drive with your towel. And the bitch still come out black sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, why is that? Uh, I don't like, know. Why is that? You got a mirror close by? No, nah, I ain't got no mirror close by, okay. but I know you ain't finna see and say that you drive he, with no, no white towel. And you, he, he, and you, and no, I don't. Not at home, hell no. Nah. What you use at home? What color your I towel? got blue. I got brown. I got green. I got black. Hey, do me a favor. You get a white towel just so it can humble you, humble you real quick. No, because I don't. So humbling, man. When I'm home, I want the right. experience of home. That's right, why right, I don't right. have anything that's like hotel related in my oh, home. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, 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 I like you going with that one. I know I like you going with that one. I mean, I you. Like would, I mean, I don't know how it don't take you that long. You taking a bird bath anyway? Who you? Why? What, what you? What you mean? You know how Matter birds fact, get the little, the little, the little bird bath they see out in the front of the yard. The bird like right, and they, they get in shape. <laughs> <laughs> you up out of there. Matter of fact, I got it. I'm so glad that you speak of the shower, right? I'm not even home, right? Let me tell you another another thing I used to do, you know, throughout my tenure when 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 I was single, like to save money at home. Like, fellas, if you watch this, stay with me now. Always take a shower at your girl house. Always take a shower at your girl house. Use her electricity. You know, just just mm -hmm. do everything there to keep your bills down at home. And that's something that I, yeah. I used to do. I used to finagle a lot of situations like that. Like right now. She's sleeping right now. She can't hear me. Like, I be here in Tampa, right? At my old lady house, right? Right. Ooh, my, this, what's today? The fifth? Today, the sixth. Guess how much my Day water bill four, was. Huh? Get, guess, how much my water bill, guess how much my what? water bill was. What? $40. $40. I, mean, I don't like she, that, too. Hey, she don't even, she don't even know. I've been, I've been like, oh, boom. I, but it's cool, though. And, and she paid, she paid the bills. That's all right. She go get it back at you when you don't, when you when you when you sign that when you don't sign that prenup when you sign that prenup she get it back. No sir. Hey, I got another one. I know we 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 didn't we didn't veer it off into life now. I got a birthday coming up. You know, if I was her, you know what I get you. No, 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 no. It's it's her birthday. It's her oh, birthday, and I and I need you, I need help. I need help. You need ideas. I yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you because what do I buy somebody that has everything? More of everything. Listen, <laughs> Dude, when, that's what women ask me. Shannon, you got everything. What do you buy right. somebody that has everything? I right. say more of everything. Whatever I got, give me more of it. Give me an idea. Because whatever you say, 
That's what I'm gonna get. Her birthday October what? 16th. So whatever you say, get I'm getting. My daughter. I asked, her, I, asked, I, asked, I asked. I asked her 32 times. I asked her 32 what? times. What you want for your birthday? And why is it with women they never yeah, ever, man, ever, be, oh, ever yeah. understand? Oh, I like, don't know. Just give me some nice. Yeah, yes, yes. I ain't got that kind of. I ain't got that kind of time at all. And I don't want to call your nothing. 15 girlfriends. Hey, well, what? What? Hey, what? What Sharia want? Oh, you know what? She had an eye on this. Yeah, but I closed my eyes because I saw that price. I had, <laughs> I see, yeah, I, I closed my eyes when I saw that price. So that ain't it. So um, I mean, when you were dating, how did you navigate and and figuring out what to get your partner? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. See, we in the same boat. Cash. We in the same boat. You know what? <laughs> I called my grandmother. I said I called my grandmother one year. Uh, I started making some real good money. I said, Granny, what you yes, want sir. for Christmas? You know what my mm -hmm. granny told me? What? Money. She said it's the right size and it's the right color. Mm -hmm. So I just started giving people money. So 5000 10000 whatever you need, 15000 right. whatever you need for your birthday, go ahead. You If you can't get it with 10 or 15 grand, right. I don't know what to tell you. Wait, it, it, that's not disrespectful though? Man, look here. You know what I like? This is what I do, Ocho. Go get what you want. Cause if I get something and then I look, yeah, I like it. That that now that's go that's gonna make me not want to get you get get you anything or give you anything. That's what that's why I'm asking for your help. Cause if I go get some based on my taste and I have an understanding of what she like, but she already got everything. So if I bring something in here, get her Hermes. I, I yeah, I get I, what a Hermes. Nah, she she got she got two of those already though, huh? Get another. Get get that croc. Get that croc one. Oh, nigga. Ah, yeah, see? <laughs> Get her that. Hey, Wait, how much old. is the croc one? How much is the croc one? They're going to start out by 50 bands. Fit, what kind of band? Fam you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That, that's the marching 100. <laughs> that, that's half of the marching 100. Wait, 50, like 50,000? 50, yeah. But you're going to be for in there. You're going to be wait, in there for, like swimwear. For a purse? Or a purse, and it ain't got nothing in it. It don't come with forty nine thousand in it either. You dead ass, or you just bullshitting though? Like I mean, dead ass, serious? I, I, I lie for you. I wouldn't lie to you. Fifty thousand for a purse? Croc Hermes. What are they looking at? Tell him. Tell, what? If, ask him. Tell him at the used one. How much the used one? Uh. Now let me tell you. Now, if you mess around and want to get the Himalayan, there's a bag. Ooh. There's an Hermes Himalayan. Now they're gonna I ain't probably never, start. I ain't never, I ain't never, I ain't like, like, like Himalaya, like the same one that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Martin. And you, and you need to have money stacked that high to be in order to be able to get it. Cause they're about three hundred to five, four, five hundred five. Man, come on, man. Go on, go on ahead now. Go on ahead now. Go on ahead now. So I mean, that's a roll. That's a that's but, a Rolls but, Royce but, now. Come on. But here's but here's the thing, Ocho. If you you just can't go in Hermes and get a bag. You got to right. get on a list or you got to know somebody that's on the list to be able right. to get it for you. So you just can't walk in the Hermes store. Like you could walk into Rolls Royce and you're like, I want that Rolls Royce and get it. Right. Right. You can't do that with Hermes. They don't give a damn who you are. Wait, you got to get on a list. So that, yes. is that their way? Is that their way to keep everything exclusive? Yes. Well, I have a question for you. Can I, I, I have a question? Yeah. So if, if they have a list and you have to get on a list to keep everything inclusive, how come all the IG people on all the people on IG got Hermes bags? They probably probably bought them second hand. Man, look here. I don't believe nothing on IG. Cause because right. if I if I just went by IG, I'm trying right. to be like how everybody how is the unemployment, the rate is what it is, inflation right, what right. it is, because everybody living a glorious life. Everybody right. got flawless skin. Everybody right. got got a a, a, a a Bentley truck or right. or a Maybach. So right. IG is full of full of caca. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. But I'm just, I'm really stuck, and I'm, I normally, you know, I play around. I know I play around a lot, but what about a watch? A what about, what about a, what about a uh, Patek or an AP or a Roly? AP, she got, she got a Roly already. AP, get, that's a good one. Get, a, get an AP or a Patek. All right, what, what's, what's the price point? Like, don't come on, now. don't, yeah, don't, uh, don't hit me uh, across look, the head, now. They, I mean. I mean, you're talking about exclusive or exclusive, but there are those other watches that you got to be on the list to get. Why? What is with this list shit? Because, because here's the thing. And what happened was, remember during the pandemic, everything yes, shut down. 
So production right. of all those watches shut down. So right. now it back it backlogged everything. So now everybody a watch that costs you seventy thousand people trying to get two ten for it. A watch that costs seventy thousand or two two ten now trying to get two ten two thirty do, three hundred. Do, do me do me a small favor real quick. What's up? What time? What time you got? What time is it right now? <laughs> Twi uh, almost twenty minutes to ten. That ain't cost me seventy thousand. That was free right there. <laughs> that ain't cost two hundred two hundred ten thousand. That was free right there. I, I'm just I'm, I'm just telling you, Ocho. One of the I few mean, time we one of the few times I spend money is the holidays. And on and your on your girl, yeah. And on, on my girl, yeah. that's the only time. And, I'm and, and she knows that you're few, so she's expecting something really really high end, Ocho. Because that's the that's the way I move. That's what last year last year I went crazy. What you, what you we, get? Who was that? The goddamn at uh, the Maldives. The mall. The mall. How you say it? Maldives. We stayed at the Maldives at the underwater hotel, fifty thousand a night. Under, oh, underwater. Yeah, you man. Lying, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. I went. I went. I went crazy last year. So now I'm like, well, how do I? How do I Ocho, what I did? Man, I'd have got year. back and said somebody, hey, that's fraudulent. Well, I'd have got <laughs> back that credit card, that's fraudulent. I don't know who somebody forged my name and everything. They they even cut their hair and they looked like me on camera. Yeah, it, it was we, we only, a we, night. Yeah, we only we only we only stayed in there three nights under the underwater, the under, and then we went to the um cabana. Then we went to the look here. The, 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 the only place I'm playing 50,000 a night is heaven. That's all no, I got. Listen, I got 50, listen, I, I, I got I go to hundred. But if he say one twenty five. You, you'll like it though. You'll like it. It was a great experience. It's something that I had never experienced before. And being submerged under the water, you, everything was under the water. The hotel, I mean, not the hotel, the, the room itself. Ojo, I'm about to go that upstairs. Was, that was nice. And they're going to call me 50000 a night. I know, but it was the birthday though. I know. See? Yeah, it was, it was, it was but, a birthday. But, see, here, but here's the thing. Okay, so now what do you do? What do you do to top that? I'm stuck. That's why I came to you because you have more experience than I do in that area, and you're not scared to spend no nah, money. You, nah, you fly, you fly private. Yeah, I, ain't, I, 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 spend, I no, it ain't. I, I ain't never been scared to spend no money. See, no, I, I, I'll go. give you. I'll give. I'll give you money. You go buy what you want. What you need. Hey. Okay, so how about I do that? I give her money. Let her go get what she want. But how that's gonna work when she make more than me right now? Hey, you gotta bite the bullet. Say, damn, man, because you. She. I mean. Give a hundred bands cash. What the hell? Let me get a hundred, hundred grand cash from. <laughs> they ain't, they don't got, they ain't got that as a goddamn bank. Yes, they do. You order it. I'm with you when you're right. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna try that tomorrow. Then I'm gonna try that. Tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm gonna try it hey. tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you. Try, I'm gonna let you. Well, probably when we get to third week of October, I'm gonna let you know how it go. Just, just go ahead and order it. Says I'm gonna come in on this date. Right, I'm, I'm gonna like go to tomorrow. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Just, bet. And and they'll and they'll have it. Okay, bet. Ah, she yeah. finished, she yeah, she, she gonna let me get some. Ah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you know, but that's that's how you gotta do it. They don't large amounts on hands. Right, right. I mean you okay, have to you okay. have to call you have to call it in ahead of time. Listen, and, and the funny so, thing about it is you could tell this is new to me. I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't move like that, I don't maneuver like that. So I right. you know, I ain't had no idea. My but see that but see the thing is my kids are easy. My kids want the money. They rather have the money to, to go do and, and pay and what pay they want to do. Off. Okay, yeah, okay. Because they're gonna pay. You know, I'm gonna pay six months of my rent. I'm gonna right. pay this. I'm gonna get that. You mm -hmm. know, me get me buying them something. They're like, okay, <laughs> I still got, I I got a, a five thousand dollar purse, but right, I got rent or I got a car yeah. payment. So right, right, right. They, they right. my. My kids do it like that. I, I'm a terrible, I because I don't like I said, I hate I don't do rejection well, and, mm. and I can read body language really well. Another big announcement came out today. Joel and B commits to playing for Team USA in the 2024 Olympics. He was born in Cameroon. He has mm -hmm. dual citizenship with the with France and the USA. And obviously it was very tough. Does he play mm -hmm. for his native homeland, Cameroon, or does he play for the French team, mm -hmm. the French national team? Or does he play for Team USA? Son was born here. Says he wants to dedicate because his son was born him. Uh, Joel Embiid has never competed at the international level due mm -hmm. to injuries, uh, but obviously health will be the the utmost concern.
for all right. the guys because we see a lot of guys. LeBron says, okay, all hey, of them. I think I might want to be in Kevin Durant, Steph mm-hmm. Curry, Devin Booker. A lot of guys want to commit because they're like, look, we want to put this once and for all. We still the king of the mountain. Right, 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 right. Basketball. Right. So what what do you what do you think? What do you think about Joel and B playing for Team USA in 2024 Olympics? I think based on why he said he wants to play for it instead of his native homeland of Cameroon or the French mm-hmm. team. I mean, that that's that that that's on him. That's a decision that he's made. I'm not sure how long he's been here in the States, but um, I mean, this happens a lot, obviously, with soccer, with with many choosing to play elsewhere as opposed to where they were born. Right. I, I think it's I think I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing for us, um, especially the USA basketball team, based on what we what we've done. Yeah, we we had the world. We were we were yeah. We uh, good and terrible this year. Yeah, it, it, it was terrible. And I, but I think all the players, all the it's funny that all the players, all the all the the great players, all at once decided that they want to play in Paris in twenty twenty four. Yeah, I, I is guess that it's you all, think they they all, had they had they had this not, all planned? They, I mean, they all think about together, Paris. Huh? I heard Paris is really nice. I mean, most of the guys are married. If they're not, right. you know, you find your little booth thing and go over there to Eiffel Tower. <laughs> you can put the locks on the on, on the bridge. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I might have gone over to Paris because I heard Paris is really nice. I'm thinking about taking me a trip over there, Ocho. You, be, you, been, you ain't been to Paris? I ain't never been there. You been? Yeah, listen, I've been to Paris multiple times. Obviously, I was able to see... Uh... Champions League last year, I was able to see Real Madrid and Liverpool play in the finals. Okay, you know, the tra- okay. Yeah, the, yeah, the traveling I do, I, I I had her thinking, she's sleep right now. I had her thinking, I was taking her to Paris. I'm like, hey, baby, I'm going to take you to Paris, right? <laughs> so, boom, we get off the plane. She have no idea. And I saw the sign. I said, oh, my God. Girl, look, Champions League, it's a soccer game here. Not knowing I had already bought the tickets. So she thinking I'm taking her to Paris, but I was really taking myself to go watch Champions League. So I just knocked two birds out with one stone. Kill two birds with one stone. One one stone. And um that, that's that how you do that, Ocho. Yeah. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. Yeah. That, that was not one. Uh, that was not one. It, it was a good one. It was a good but one. But you got to go back. But, and so you know, I want to go, I like I want to go to Paris. You know, I want to go to Fashion Week. You know, that I got some things. I, you, you know, I got yeah, some you, things you, on my bucket list. You, you know, I'm you a, be sharp. You be sharp too. Yeah, you be sharp. I'm I'm a lazy dresser. I'm not really into fashion like that. What? Yeah, every listen. I put on clothes every blue moon, like it's time to you know dinner time or yeah. I just I just I just can't man because fashion is such an such an expensive taste, such an expensive taste, and it doesn't always have to be expensive. You know, is is is. But then on you know what? Being, we might need able to, hold to put off. pieces together. You well, let's hold off on the Paris because they yeah. got a bed bug outbreak. So I think we are gonna hold off they, until they get that under control. They got a bed bug outbreak. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all over. It's, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's bad. It's bad right now. Yeah, I ain't with that. Yeah, I ain't with that. So we gonna we gonna hold off on we gonna hold off on pass till they get that bed bug thing under control. Yeah. Once they get that under control, then count you, your boy. Are you ready? You yeah. you been you been, you been to Rome? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, your boy went to Rome. Let me tell you, okay. that's the last I'm time I took a vacation. That's the last time I took a vacation. Okay. I went to Rome. I, I I flew into Rome. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the young lady that uh, that I was going to see. Wait a minute, talk to yeah, me now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yes, we met me at the sir. airport. We met me right. at the airport, and we took a train uh-huh. to Florence. So we mm-hmm. all through the countryside. You know, yes, we were one of the old night carts. You know, they bring yeah. us. You know, they just bring it and they bring us and bring us stuff. I'm right, like, you right, know, right. I'm kicked up. I'm like, yeah. okay, I can get used to this. So we spent <laughs> like, yeah, we spent like three. I think three. We spent three nights, three nights yeah. in Rome and uh, Florence. And okay. then we came back to Rome for like three more nights. So I was over there about a week. Damn. I was over wait, there about wait, a week. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all have y'all y'all met previous before? The yeah, trip, yeah, yeah, you... yeah, yeah. She was okay, uh, she, okay, she okay. was she was she uh, was uh she was studying. Okay, okay. She was yeah. studying abroad. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Well, I'm glad you I'm glad you mentioned that. So how how come she not the one? Man, that was so long. You know how long ago 1996 was. Oh, this, this was in '96. It was. You got was, me thinking this was like yeah, last year. Time. Time. No, that was the last time I've been on vacation, bro. Oh man, Rome done changed so much, man. You got to go. I know. Nah, you can... As a matter of fact, somebody just told me say the the carts, the uh, the trains, mm-hmm. they're much nicer. So it got mm-hmm. me to thinking. You know, I yeah. might want to recreate that. You know, yeah. recreate that moment. Right. Matter of fact, because I'm very nostalgic. You, yeah. What you need to do is you need to create it with somebody new and give them the experience. To enjoy with you out of town that's never been to Rome. 
What? And I'm going to find that for you. You know damn well I ain't going to take the person that I met that I met in 96 back over there. No, that's why I said I'm. I'm. I'm got somebody for you. Just, just stay with me. No, nah, no, nah, I don't need you. I, I, I got somebody. I got somebody. But they, they, they. I, I got me somebody. I got somebody in mind. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Hey, her last, her last name Gomez. Ah, oh, sh- name. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell, nah. I got somebody. But you know, Ocho, I was thinking about that because you know, what? I, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about that. I was like, man, that was not it. Was, Oh, Joe, I ain't gonna lie. That was nice. It was nice, cause I, ain't, yeah. I had never done anything like that before. Right, right. So right. now you know we going through the country. Cause I've seen movies where you know mm-hmm. they, the uh, the couple they staring out the window. You're like, look, honey, mm-hmm. and I, that was me. Yeah, like, yeah. Look at the look at the cattle and the horse mm-hmm. in the countryside, and I'm like, you know, I'm like real touristy. I was into yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, yeah. you know you got to work. I had to watch out for the pickpocket. I said, hey, oh, yo, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I, hey, I said, bro, I ain't about that. Listen, they are bumping into you. I'm not one of you little mofos they, out. They bump right into you, and you have no idea what's it, going it, on. I was just waiting for somebody to bump me, and I was go whop. <laughs> It'd have been two bumps. He bumped into me, and then he'd hit the floor. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I go ahead. Hey, the little kid, don't come panhandling. I ain't got <laughs> nothing for you. Go, go ahead on. Don't play with me. But uh, oh. you know what, Ocho, you got me thinking. I'm gonna have. I'm due for a vacation. I, I do that, for vacation. There you go. And listen so you to might me. have to, you know, at some point in time, you might have to have a, a new host for about a month. I'm going somewhere for a oh, month. That, I, I got it. I could I could take care of it all by myself. I could you would <laughs> I could take care Man, of it all by here. myself. I, I got hey, you. Hey, I best right to come back to Ogan Ocho Show Council because you want some <laughs> bull job. I'll leave you in charge for <laughs> Bro, what happened? What hey, happened to you... our show? <laughs> You leave, you leave me a charge. Trust me, we gonna this thing gonna be pumping. We go, oh, hey, we gonna be pumping. Lord, have mercy. Oh yeah, yes sir. <laughs> I got you. But you know what? You know Goyard. You like Go your girl. Like I know she like Goyard, not, right? Not 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 that. I got a few, I got a few of their pieces now. Ah, yeah, they now fake. We, now, they I don't, they fake talking. though. They fake. No 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 no. I, I they got, came I, from I Canal it. Street right there in New York. Mm. What Canal Street? In New York. You mean New Orleans? No, uh, uh, they got another one in New York. Swap, meat. yeah, I ain't, I ain't, yeah, I ain't never, I ain't never been out there. I ain't never been. You ain't got no swap meat, swap meat, Louis. Nah, 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 I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that, you know, because what I do is, is when she buy her goyard pieces, I be using them like they mine. Oh, yeah, I like that. I, I, I got a couple pieces of go. We got a, got, got a couple yeah. pieces. See, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, but that's Ocho, bro. I ain't saying go out there and just splurge. But treat right. yourself. You work hard. Think about it. Uh, nah, Ocho, nah, nah, you work, nah. Ocho, you working four nights a week. Yeah. Yeah. And matter of fact, I don't even consider it work because I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. Like, yeah. I look, for, I look forward to Sunday, Mondays, and Thursdays because this is enjoyable. Talking talking football, obviously, you know, talking about the game. But then we get into that section about life. Life. And, and just finances. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, finance. This, though, this is enjoyable. This is. This is I, I can't even really put it into words on how much I look forward to doing this because it gives me this is my outlet. Right. This is my sense of peace away from everything. This is like me being on the field on Sundays again, because I know once I'm on that field, I could just be myself. I can let my head right. down and just and just go. And I ain't got nothing to worry about. I could be vulnerable like I'm comfortable, like I, I like being yeah. in this motherfucking space. I like that. And, you know, getting getting nice things, and that's all cool. But in the, at the end of the day, I wear it once or I use it once or twice. And then what? The money going down the drain. That's why I've really never been into, you know, all that. Nah, man, I just. Nah, it's, it, 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 it's, it's kind of. It's never uh, been me. You know what? <clears throat> um, I don't really buy a whole lot. You know, um, I try to, you know, make sure my family's taken care of, you know, my brother, my sister, my mom, my kids. Mm-hmm. And so. It came. I hadn't really bought anything in about four years, and right. so this uh, this Dodge Dodge came out with the uh, the Black Ghost. It's the last year of the mm. gas model Challenger. They go right. into the electric model, and I was like, I remember I was in my financial guy, my my agent Marvin Demoff. I was in his office. I was like, uh, look at this, Marvin. I say this is the last year they're making this car. Mm. He's like, they're nice. You ought to get it. I was like, I said they only made three hundred of them, but uh, I'm like, nah. He said, go on and get it. He said, uh, he said, let me show you why you should get it. So he turned it around. I was like, I got that much? He's like, yeah, re- treat yourself. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. I called the guy, hey, 
we good to go. He don't know I had already ordered it anyway. <laughs> I I okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. We, well, you know what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm gonna do for myself. Good day. I promise you this. Every every Christmas, the past, I don't know how many Christmases this has been. I've never done nothing for myself. That's Everybody, it. I never. I think this Christmas, I'm, I'm gonna take your word for it. This Christmas, I'm gonna treat myself to something. Something. I'm gonna really treat nice. myself something really nice. Cause you making good money. You making good money with Uncle Ocho. Oh, listen, I'm, I'm making, I'm, I'm making good. God, God, God has been I, good to me. I made, I, I made sure. I said, hey, I said, look, mm -hmm. we're partnership. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got me moving. I'm, I'm listen. I, I'm feel, I feel like, I feel like Pablo Escobar a little bit. You hear me? I feel like Pablo it's a little only, bit. It's only gonna get bigger and better, bro. That, that's it. That's it. I'm right here. For, you know, I'm, right I'm, here for I'm, work, I'm working behind the scenes trying to get this thing bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. We, it, so when you drop got, a bag, when you drop a hundred bands on on wife, you like that ain't nothing. I make that up next week. You right, you right by that. I like that. That's that's <laughs> that's that's one of the That's that's why I'm gonna do it. That's why I'm gonna do it. And I, I I appreciate that. I appreciate you for that, bro. Look, Damn. my my whole thing was is that if I ever got in a, a situation where I could help mm -hmm. um people out mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> use one of the problems, I mean, actually you're the only person. That's like you know. And when people, they say, like, I said, look, I want to do something else. And, like, you know, let's talk about it. You know, what if we went live after Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday mm -hmm. night games? They're like, well, who do you want to do it with? And I said, uh, Ocho. Yes, sir. Like, Ocho, Ocho who? I said, Ocho Seco. It's like, but what if he What if he says no? I think we should we should expand the net. I said, no. Nah, say, say no? I said, I said, look here. I, they said expand the net. I said, nope, I'm throwing one line in the water. I said, that's the fish I want to catch. And so that's, that's all you I, need. Call, I call I call Dougie. You know, I know Dougie. Dougie, I've known Dougie 25 years, 20 years. Yes. Yeah. 20. And uh I called Dougie. I said, Dougie, I got this idea. I said, I think Ocho will be perfect for it. Are you interested? He said, It's funny that you say Ocho gonna be in he in town. I said, Can y'all yeah. do dinner tomorrow? I mean, can you we do lunch? He's like, What time? I say, This time we showed up. I said, bro, I gave you that. I said, bro, this is what I'm looking to do. Mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z. You want in? You got the job if you want it. If not, <laughs> I'm going to take it to somebody. I'm going to go somewhere else, but I say, I'm yeah. going to do this. Listen, it's one thing about it. I love everybody, everybody to death that you could work with. But this dynamic here, <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing. Ain't nobody else pulling this off. When you look at the cast of Martin, right? Yeah. When you look at the cast of girlfriends, when you look at yeah. the cast of family matters, living you single, you living single, you can't put nobody else in them dynamics and get the same thing out of it. You just can't. Mm -hmm. Man, mm -hmm. we got something special, and I'm I'm thankful, I'm grateful, I'm happy, and I'm treating myself Christmas because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my smart car aside, and for now I'm gonna go get me something nice. Get you something nice. Well, I'm gonna give me something nice. I don't know what I'm gonna get anything for Christmas because I got my daughter's birthday coming up in October. I got a son's birthday in November. He's mm -hmm. married now. Cause I said, bro, you gotta think. I said, you gotta think in terms of family now. You just can't oh, yeah. think of. I said, you got a wife and a and a and a grand and a child. I said, mm -hmm. you just can't think of daddy. Uh, you know, it's my birthday, so you gotta think family now. Right, so, right. <laughs> the gift that you go get, and I got a daughter in med school that she finishes mm -hmm. med school in May of twenty four. So. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get myself anything Christmas, but right. everybody else is gonna be straight. Listen, you think you got it? Let me. You know my situation, mind you. All together, I got eleven. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, yeah, I got eleven. Well, I I got, got, I, when I listen, take care of everybody, I just got brother, sister, mom, right, and three kids. Listen, and I, I got, got I you got, know, and, and 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 my executive assistant. Now I got a staff now, mm -hmm. but I think they just want money. Yeah, you right. <laughs> See, especially, I, especially my. My assistant Ashley over here shaking her head. Right, shaking her head. Listen, my <laughs> assistant, my my assistant is tied in with the missus, so she that's yeah. that's two and one. That's two and one. Yeah, that's two and I one. Mean, then I I got got I got my kids. They 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 not that bad. And then those yeah. I have kids from have also been a blessing yeah. along the way in this journey. Like they they have been huge. Now I don't yeah. think they 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 understand. I haven't really been I haven't really been on a platform to be able to to thank them in general, like. They've made this possible more than anything, and oh, they, they've done a wonderful job with the kids, man, and just and really getting me to this point, right? And really, really helping me get to this point, man. I didn't do things the right way, 
right. and do things the traditional way. Yeah, but the way I we did do them, we but the way, yeah, yeah, but the, the way I did do them, and th- those those individuals don't understand right. how important they are to my growth and me getting to where I am today. So I'm thankful, very thankful. Right. We should. You should be. All right. Sunday night, we're back. Yes, sir. With Nightcap. I'm Shannon Sharp, your favorite uncle. He's Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, your favorite number 85, one of the best route runners in NFL the, the, history. The, the best. Tune route in Sunday night. Unc and Ocho. Nightcap.